The driver of this pickup ran a stop sign. She admits it. And her license had been suspended because of a lapse in her auto insurance coverage. The driver asked the deputy who stopped her why she had to get out of her pickup and also asked for the deputy's supervisor. Get in seconds, Camden County Sheriff's Deputy Christine Newman was pulling the driver out of the pickup and onto the pavement with help from a plainclothes backup who tased the driver. And Deputy Newman handcuffed her. And then... And then... That was in January 2022. And now... Me tremendously. <laughs> the driver, Sharice Faria, is incredulous. Deputy Newman had first received a two-day suspension without pay. And by March of last year, Newman was proclaimed Deputy of the Month. It wasn't until this past fall when the district attorney and the GBI began investigating. And in January, a year after the traffic stop, a grand jury indicted Deputy Newman on felony charges, including aggravated assault. Newman was fired, and she is awaiting trial. Faria and her Atlanta attorney, Harry, Daniels are preparing to file a federal civil rights lawsuit against Newman. It's a family struggle because I'm in fear for being stopped for a traffic stop, a uh, stop sign, and uh, something like this occurring again. And Daniels says Faria could have been killed. Daniels has also represented four others who have accused Camden County Sheriff's deputies of using excessive force against them. John, this is not just a bad apple. This is a bad ap apple orchard because this is systemic. This is continuous happening. This is not a one-off. We are working to reach Camden County Sheriff Jim Proctor and former Deputy Newman for comment as this excessive force case works its way through the criminal and soon civil courts. In Atlanta, John Shearick, 11 Alive News.